it's a friend and trust. Remind your body of its softness in this moment. Slowly, gently, floating. Eyes open or closed. Practice breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathing in, breathing out. Let the breath mirror the river that echoes the ocean, rising and falling in snow waves, holding, held, sighed, release. I learn from the river's movements by the end of what can to function to my own physicality. I then ask, what do these bodies of water want me to know? From the river to its mouth, tip of the tongue, sip slow, gum. Notice as the liquid trickles down, temporal paths trace the body. Map drawn from confluence up to source, a journey towards its destination, buoyancy soon become vessels of sweet hydration. Water, where are we know from, of shapeshifters, amphibians, and eventual ancestors, we must become. We are all bodies of water. Water is the network from where memories uncoil, speaking through drops, waves, and streams. Water likes memory, water like dreams. Trust that all water touches all water everywhere. Memory is often misunderstood as being solely mind related. In its magic, it wraps itself in waves, contained, it weaves through its chosen vessel and is sometimes found again through reminders of images, touch, taste, smells, etc. But often it becomes lost, drifting, floating, sunken. In the river lies a memory. As we converge through a meditation or meeting on its banks, there is a knowing that multiple bodies can breathe together at once. An exchange or a call and response. Mimical bodies breathe in, the river flows. Breathe out, the river continues on. Alive, we feel each other in the comfort of this cycle, of trusting our bodies and each other to remember what comes next. Between a heartbeat and a river lies the time, past and present industrial dreams that sit and dream. Rivers that resemble memory, urban imaginaries, they run through every human landscape, whether mythical or actual. Rivers are infrastructures that shape geographies, as towns and cities have grounded their local identities as marked by rivers, reminders of what once was. The two lines that form the river tell us that it exists beyond the water it holds, divided and connected, a demarcation that sits across the landscape. If it's true that water picks up information from all the water it passes through, does the water recognise its home in the river to you? Know where it belongs to, where it's come from, when it counters the salt water of the Atlantic? All water has a perfect memory and is forever trying to get back to where it was. Like water, our bodies also store memory, and these memories live inside of us as breathing archives, still, silent. Tender waiters. What is the